another probe was sent to study Mars. On August 12, 2005, an Atlas V rocket was launched on a new mission to the Red Planet. But the destination wasn't the Martian surface, it was the Martian skies. And after 13 months, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbit, or MRO, began scouting landing sites for future manned missions to Mars. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbit is, uh, is a science orbiter. It is one of the most uh, sophisticated uh, orbiters we ever had around Mars. It's to study the, the geology, it's to study traces of water. And, uh, and this is uh, it's a key element of our uh, path to the future for us to understand Mars and then for us to understand where we want to send our future missions. It took seven months to get the MRO to Mars and six months to slow it down using a technique called aerobraking. Using the atmosphere during those uh, seven months period or so to slow down the spacecraft so we could put the spacecraft in the correct orbit of about 200 by 300 kilometers uh, elliptical orbit around Mars. Aerobrake is a one-time event to save fuel. We'll save a, a tremendous amount of fuel that we would have taken if we did not do the uh, aerobraking of the atmosphere. Spectacular. This is our HD imaging lens on Mars. Every image its high-resolution camera known as high-rise takes is another landing site experience with a, with a resolution the scale that the Mars Exploration Rovers see at the scale of 20, 30 yards away from orbit. We can see thousands, if not 10,000s of places, and then we can put them in context. So MRO is poised today to start a whole new campaign on Mars, opening our eyes to why we need to go. It is going to be the site finder. Getting a very high resolution allows you to look at the planet without actually having to stand there and look at it. And at this high of a resolution, for the first time, we can now see rocks of the same size that are dangerous to landing spacecraft. So now we can actually image the spot where we think we're going to go and look and see whether or not there are rocks that are big enough to hurt the landing spacecraft. The imaging system paints two pictures, a wide shot to provide context that is layered onto the very high resolution images of the planet's surface. The MRO camera is so powerful, it can see and track the rovers below. 